Good day, folks. I'd like to talk to you about a circuit I've been working on. I was trying to figure out how to pulse my uh, quantum cells here with a self-triggered mechanism that uses the less current. So I was thinking the ACE table multivibrator here. So um, before I got too carried away with it, I basically asked our friend Chad GPT if indeed this could operate in low current mode considering these cells are very close to zero current because of the capacitive charging it can in theory run with, with purely voltage so with that said I went to the uh, drawing board for the schematics and as you see here I came up with some values it's rough but I made it work at only two volts here and the whole idea is to trigger a low duty cycle as you can see in the uh, graphic here it's uh, pretty um, not real tight but tight enough you can experiment with that the way I was able to work it is by making the um, the 300 ohm and the 100 ohm resistors asymmetrical and it's that asymmetry that the circ that determines your duty cycle so basically play with that a little bit but these are just rough estimates you know every uh, cell will produce different uh, you have to tune a device so essentially um, it would be good to replace these values with variables to fine-tune so essentially with that said it works very well and what happens here is I decided to uh, use the uh, multivibrator to trigger a transistor as you can see here but what when you look at the circuit right away it looks like there's something wrong with it because what happens is uh, there isn't it's just it works on multiple layers we have two power source we have a couple cells which drives it and then we have a six tack down below which gives us nearer six or more volts which the transistor basically q3 would pulse into a coil here so on the primary side what we're doing is we're um taking the inductive kickback and creating a feedback loop now what happens is the inductive kickback goes into the uh, secondary and feeds back into the primary and what happens is when I remove that one UF capacitor it'll just ramp up and in the simulation at around 4 kV it just uh, errors out but that's what it does it creates a feedback loop with the inductive kickback back and forth and to prevent the uh, ramp up the charging one UF capacitor will bring up that voltage and as you see in less than one second we get hundreds of volts so we could use this mechanism to extend it into a cap dump to charge our batteries if you understand what I'm saying here so as long as you don't let it charge to a catalytic um, but that's the point we can use our quantum energy cells to trigger this all self triggered and I just use a clever mechanism to ramp up the voltage with the inductive kickback and the two systems are isolated from each other so to speak so what happens is we're able to uh, manipulate the system much better this way so will it work with traditional cells well yes but I can't promise over unity obviously because regular batteries and regular power supplies don't have this built-in self regaging capabilities like these quantum cells do so as long as you can keep that dipole open like uh, Tom Bearden would say very similar to an electret and keep providing energy self regaging capabilities then it's a different story but who says you can't use this concept for driving something bigger like a Don Smith or something or even using traditional batteries to ramp it up to high voltage so you can then use additional stages like the AV plugs and the one wire system the Don Smith set up the ion valves so you could extend on this for regular systems as well but I was thinking of it primarily for the quantum power cells something that can be self-triggered to easily ramp up the voltage so we can convert the uh, quantum cells to um, real watts here so um, or of course like I want to do down the line which will take some time would be to wafer them all and have like thousands of volts just as is like that but until I get there we can use circuitry to help us so this is just a possibility here and I'm sure you understand folks when you get into like 600 milliamps and you're at like thousands of volts that that ends up even in traditional sense giving you a lot of power so I'm sure there's potential there and I'd like to draw it someday in a circuit uh, program where I can 
get it printed out. I just need to get the knack of that. And I, of course, you know, there's the there's issues. But anyways, I'll, I'll get there one day, folks, just sharing it with you. And let me know what you all think. And again, thank you all for watching and your suggestions. And have yourselves all a great day.